The regulatory exams are already complicated enough. So why did they have to go and add maths? I'm Yulandi, I'm from RLP Training, and I will be helping you to understand all the different CPD calculations and when do we have to have special calculations. We'll start with the basic calculation. We know from previous studies that we will always either need 6, 12 or 18 hours of CPD every year. And remember, just a quick reminder, the cycle runs from the 1st of June to the 31st of May every year. Every single year. That's our CPD cycle. So in the cycle, we would either be required to obtain 6 hours, 12 hours or 18 hours of CPD, continuous professional development hours. Let's quickly look at that. If our representative or our key individual or our natural person FSB, aka sole proprietor, one man band, single owned FSB, is appointed or approved under one class of business for one subclass of business. Example, approved or appointed under the class of business short term insurance personal lines and subclass subcategory um, A1. There we go, example six hours required. So one class of business, one product category, six hours. If our rep, KI or FSB is appointed or approved under one class of business um, and two subclasses, so short term insurance, personal lines, subcategory A1 and A2, 12 hours. And if our rep, KI or FSB is approved or appointed for two or more classes of business, so appointed under short-term insurance, personal lines, and short-term insurance, commercial lines, regardless of how many product categories, it will be 18 hours. All right, quite simple, straightforward. Let's look at an example. I have a representative appointed under long-term insurance, one product category. This representative only needs to complete six hours of CPD. I have a representative uh, appointed under the class of business short term insurance for two or more product categories, 12 hours. Or I have a representative appointed under short term insurance, personal lines and commercial lines, two different uh, classes of business, 18 hours required. Straightforward, nothing complicated here, it's just memorizing it. But then obviously this is Ari, so we have to complicate things. Let's look at a calculation for a representative that has been appointed for less than 12 months or had to comply with uh, CBD requirements for less than 12 months. Example, if halfway throughout the year you finish all of your qualifications, done with your product specific training, done with your class of business training, done with your RE5 requirements, done with your phase recognized qualification, and now CPD becomes a requirement for you. But you were not there for the entire cycle. You were not qualified for the entire cycle. So obviously you do need some discount on the amount of hours required, right? That just sounds fair. So this is our calculation and this is our formula. It says X divided by 12 times Y equals Z. Uh, flashbacks to metric. X is the number of annual required CPD hours. So if you had to comply with the full CPD hours, so there X will either be 6, 12 or 18, always. Divided by 12, because we're going to divide it by 12 months. And Y is the number of months that you have been appointed. Okay, so our example, for a rep that has only been appointed as a rep required to comply with CPD for six months, we'll use the following. And let's say we need more information. Six months appointed and appointed under long-term insurance only. Okay. And only one product category. So six hours would be required. So we have... X is the amount of annual required CPD hours if I was there for the entire year. So because it's one class of business, one product category, it would have been six. So we say six divided by 12 times Y, the number of months appointed, six months. And that gives us Z. Now, luckily, you won't get this example in the exam because six divided by 12 would be a half times six will give us three. Okay, in the exam, you will never get things like this. You won't get decimals because remember, you're not allowed to use a calculator. So for some people, this might not be their strong suit. It will always be fixed amounts. So if 
our representative was appointed for one class of business and two product categories. We would have had 12 months as a requirement. So then our formula would have been 12 divided by 12 times six. That gives us the required hours. One times six equals six. Okay, this is more likely for exam purposes. And again, because this is the regulatory exam, we need to make sure that we just put a little bit of sprinkles on top of the already complicated content. So reduction of CPD hours would apply to a representative that was absent from work due to maternity or paternity leave or long-term illnesses or disabilities, or they had to take care of family members due to long-term illnesses or disabilities. So they were absent from work for a legitimate reason. And because they were absent from work for a long time, they also qualify for some discount on CPD hours. So let's look at our formula. Here we have X divided by 12 times 12 minus Y equals Z. X will always either be six, 12 or 18 because X always refers to the number of annual CPD required hours for this person in normal circumstances. Y again will refer to the number of months absent from work. So if we look at a representative that is supposed to complete 12 hours of CPD for the cycle and they were absent from work for two months, this is what our formula would look like. X either 6, 12, or 18, they're telling us in the question that it's 12. So we say 12 divided by 12 times 12 minus the number of months absent from work. We said that's two months. That equals C. So here we have 12 divided by 12, which is one, times 12 minus two, which is 10. And that means this rep needs to complete 10 hours. Okay. Again, we're not allowed to use a calculator in the exam, so it will always be rounded off amounts like these. You won't get decimals or point this, point that, comma this, comma that. Um, just memorize the formulas and remember when to use the reduction and when to use just the normal discount because you were not required to complete CPD for the full year. Right. I hope this helps.